this is Todd Forsyth from RSC, and this is a demonstration of MicroView Tablet. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at maintenance management and the complete service request functionality. Um, the, the use case here is that users would be um, completing uh, service requests, work requests in the field. The demo you're seeing today is on an iPad 2 uh, running iOS 9 and on a Safari browser. Uh, the first thing that you're going to see is a list of the service requests that have been assigned to this user. So this is just the work requests that are assigned to this particular craftsperson. Every craftsperson in the field might have a different list to work on here, which is exactly as it should be. So we're going to take the application offline, just click the Wi-Fi icon here and um, remove our network connection. But we're going to change the cause type, you know, normal wear and tear, which is kind of goes along with preventive maintenance. And uh, maybe we'll add craftsperson notes here. Status here to completed. Now notice that there's an upload flag here. When checked, this basically means I'm done working on this work request and I'm ready to upload it to the server. Crafts people that were working on it and the parts that were used. So we're going to go to crafts data. Um, so far, no crafts people have been assigned to this work request, so we're going to assign some. We're going to say that craftsperson ID Colin Leonard worked on this, that it was normal work, and that um, they started work yesterday and completed work today on this uh, work request, and um, we're going to say that they did eight straight hours and two overtime hours. This took than expected. Here, we're going to click Save. Attach this work request, no parts assigned so far, so we're going to go ahead and assign some. We're going to say that uh, plumbing parts were required and that it was a um, faucet valve seat that we needed. Um, one is the default value here. Let's say we needed two to, to fix two sinks. Two. Save. At this point, and our sync is complete, which is great. So at this point, our data will have been sent back to the server. So there's a couple of things to take a look at here. One of them is that we flagged that request for upload. So if we go back to the complete service requests again and look for um, work request 1010 here at the bottom, what we would expect to see on the tablet, only the ones that remain to be completed are still here on the tablet. Uh, we're going to um, take a look at the server now at Web Central. Switch screens here, and we're back to Web Central. So if we, uh, we're in uh, building operations, on-demand work, supervisor work requests, and we're looking at the update work requests form. So we're going to 10, 10. Craftsperson code that we assigned, Colin Leonard, and that the 10 hours that we assigned to that person are showing. Um, we could edit this real quick and see that uh, the additional comment that we've added is there as well. Going next to look at the work request resources and the parts that we've put on it. Here's our two um, valve seats. Uh, yep, sure enough, there's two of them and two sinks as we'd, as we'd entered on the tablet. And uh, we're going to go further and look at the work request details. Uh, you can see that our craftsperson notes have been updated as we expected, and our cause code is also updated as we did it there and the status has been changed to completed, which means that all of the changes that we made on the tablet have been synced back to the server and are now part of the live Archibus data. Um, this concludes this demonstration of the MicroView tablet complete service request functionality.